Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm really excited to share with you guys uh, how to do transparency or ghosting inside of OneNote. Now, this is something I came up with recently after trying to figure out how to do basically dual screen work on a single screen without having to do a um, split between one side is OneNote and the other side is my study material or YouTube video or class or course that I'm going through. So this is the best solution. I'm super stoked here. Uh, just because you can do a lot of fun things with that you can do a lot of fun things with this too. Okay, so here I am inside of OneNote. We get this. You guys understand what's going on here. I have some text written here on the screen and I'm going to just jump right into uh, what you can do. So here you can see I've made OneNote transparent. Still fully functional. You can still write and draw. So we want to give this dude a little hat. Uh, we want to undo or whatever. Still totally OneNote. And this is what I think is so cool. Look at this. This is OneNote. I have music playing in the background and I can take my notes and uh, do all the same stuff. Now, if you're in a PDF file or you're on another type of web page where you're researching something and you are constantly going back and forth and you're doing this type of action here and you're going over here and then you're going to your web browser and then you're going back because you're trying to, to get the information from one page to the other, you're doing screenshots, you're capturing, then you're pasting it into OneNote because you're trying to, again, just do two screens worth of work on one screen. This is awesome. Super awesome. Just, just this having music and a video playing as ambiance while I'm writing is really cool. Okay, now, uh, this works because I'm pressing a keyboard shortcut and that keyboard shortcut, this is part of the Tablet Pro Pen Tool. Uh, by the way, this is the pen I recommend for OneNote, and I sell it on my website. So go to tabletpro.com slash stylus, stylus, um, if you want to check this out. Okay, the pen tool is right here. And you can get the pen tool in the Windows Store. So here you have a bunch of different things that you can do, but one of the things it does is it will allow you to turn the active window transparent. So let's demonstrate that. There's levels of transparency as well. So here I'm going to click on OneNote. I can click up here and tap on this keyboard shortcut. This keyboard shortcut, I'm gonna press it, you'll see uh, right down here, shift plus win key plus backslash. And that keyboard shortcut's being displayed by a program called Keypress OSD, in case you guys are curious about that. I'll link in the description. All right, so if you have a keyboard and you don't want to use the artist pad, that's how you would do that. Okay, so you can see here, OneNote, we did it. There it is. OneNote transparent, super cool. Okay, and over here, I added these custom keys. You guys can get this at tabletpro.com slash OneNote. I'll put this custom artist pad. Now, here's what you need to know. I added, these are not available. Uh, let's make this bigger, so it's cool. Okay, so I added these right here, the uh, volume up and down and the play. So you can control your media and uh, adjust the volume. From here, you can use transparency right here and you can switch back and forth between different things if you want. Now here's my last tip. If you make OneNote a little bit more narrow, you can do something really cool. So I'm gonna go over to here. We're going to shrink this. Now let's open an, another browser and, okay, let's go to uh, Alibaba. Okay, I'm looking at adding um, a tablet holder to my store. And so I'm doing a lot of research on different tablet holders. So I'm looking at sourcing them from a Chinese manufacturer. I have all these messages from them. All right, so this 
this is what I, I think is really cool. Okay, extra special feature here. Okay, so let's make this transparent. Let's move down, add transparency. Okay, now I'm interacting with my emails here and I'm taking notes because I'm trying to pull data from one to the next. Okay, so here you can see that I have this um, document in the background, I have a web page, I have messages in the background, and I can scroll it, and let's see if I can find it. Uh, a price here. So let's say I'm asking for price, and I'm looking down here. Oh, this one is Sally. She, and she's saying $3.20 per unit, and um, scroll up and look for more information and like okay this one looks like this or I've got a graph or whatever really easy to pull information through so um, here you can't click through anywhere else but you can just click right here and let's say I want to look at this one okay I'm scrolling here let's go back over here and I can see the different ones from this guy okay this one uh, price is also three dollars and twenty and it's a different design and I want to grab this design so I'm going to hop over here and I'm going to do a quick little green screen grab we're going to hop back and we are going to paste so here this really fast, really useful. Uh, again, I'll put this artist pad, this specific one, on um, tabletpro.com slash OneNote. And if you guys have questions about this, this is a really new idea. I am absolutely in love with it. Now, uh, I will show you one other thing that I have been doing in the past. So here, we're gonna go back over here. We're gonna go to um, YouTube. If I'm just doing YouTube, uh, in the past, what I was doing is, what makes is I would man. pop open. But if you're eating foods that no, raise dude. your estrogen, you're never going to have. In the past, I would click this little button right here. This is floating player, is free, and it allows you to put a floating YouTube video um, over the top of everything else. So I can have this playing if it's a tutorial. You can make this, uh, let me, you can make this about this big, not much bigger. For certain things, that's great, that's enough. Uh, for me, I actually really like the transparent version. Okay, still cool. And let's pop that back. If you like this tip, please give a thumbs up for the video, subscribe as I have a lot more content like this on my channel. If you have a stylus or a Windows 10 tablet, this is a great channel for you. All right, thank you for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.